Welcome to another edition of Gluten-Free Adventures. My name is Stephanie, and I have non-celiac gluten sensitivity, which means I can't have gluten, but I'm okay with cross contamination. Would you please take a minute to subscribe and hit that notification button? I post these videos weekly of my travels and going to places like Disneyland looking for all the gluten-free things. Today, I'm at Disney's California Adventure, and I am here for the Festival of Holidays. The Festival of Holidays has eight booths, and they are across Disneyland's California Adventure. And there are a few things, three to be exact, that are actually gluten-free. So let's go check them out. So the first thing I'm going to try is the pork belly adobo, which comes gluten free. It's eight dollars at the Favorite Things booth, and so it's got some garlic rice and the pork belly. So let's let's taste. All right, here's the pork belly. Mm. It's definitely salty um but the flavor is good and it let's try the rice some rice mm. wow that's garlicky it's good though the pork belly i'm not a huge pork belly fan huge, i don't eat it very often but I have another, and this has this crisp on here that's gluten free. You know what, together, it's pretty good. I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. It's got good taste if you like. If you're a fan of pork belly, this is definitely something you should get. The garlic, the garlic rice, really good. It's it's tender, it flakes apart, it's really easy to eat. You don't need a knife or anything, so it's not like you're sawing through it. But um, yeah, and the taste is tangy and salty at the same time. It's good. I mean, there's only three things that we can have that are gluten free, but we're gonna see how the other things taste, but it's off to a pretty good start. Yeah, eight out of 10. I'm happy with it. So this is the other thing that's gluten-free, impossible chorizo queso bandito. 
which is not really something that I want to try personally, but it's 7 50. Okay, so the other thing that is gluten free is the barbacoa tamal de res, which is nine dollars. So let's taste it and see if it's any good. So the tamal is, as they say, tamal is filled with barbacoa and has tomatillo on it and then has a crema over it. So let's taste. Here it is. Mm. It's got a little kick to it at the end that is definitely building. I'm not a huge spice fan, so um, that's something. It's a little... Um, the barbacoa is good. It's filled with, definitely filled with a lot of meat. And it's got, it's got the crema on top. Let's do another bite. It's good. It tastes like a, a tamale that you would get other places. Um, the barbacoa is good. It's not, it's not, it's on the drier side, I would say, so there's not a lot of sauce, um, but, um, and it's got a little bit of a kick. Like I said, um, the crema is really good. The tomatillo is the, the kick. Um, I would like it if it was, I would like it more if it had a little more sauce. So I'm going to say it's pretty, you know, average. I would say 7.5 out of 10 average. Good. But I definitely like the pork belly better, plus the spice. Um, just wish it had more sauce. It's okay. I wouldn't get it again, but I'm going to eat it. It's good. Good enough. So it got dark. But I just finished the tamale. My mouth is a little bit on fire. So if you like spice, definitely get the tamale. I do wish it had a little bit more sauce because I really like sauce, but it was good. And there are a lot of things here. There's mac and cheese, there's several different types. So if you can have gluten, by all means, I would get all of the things. There's a couple of things that I think could be made gluten-free. These three items are the things that come on the allergen menu. So that means they're already gluten-free, but that doesn't mean at some of the booths, like the beef brisket slider, it looks really good. So I think you might be able to take the bun off and actually just have that without the bun, but you need to check with the chef. So if you're somebody that likes to come try a bunch of different little things, they have a sip and savor pass so that you can try one of everything. And it's a fun little addition to having just regular park food. And there's lots of drinks and all kinds of alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks and then all the different flavors of food. It's it's a fun little festival. It's it's not as big as the food and wine festival, but it's definitely it's got a, a couple of cute things that I think there's a there's a Snickers macaroon, I believe, or a Twix macaroon, something. And that looks good, but I can't have it. But anyway. Thanks for joining me and I will see you on my next adventure.